Oh, so the first time I recorded this didn't upload. So we'll try it again and hopefully I can go faster. I don't know. We'll see. And um, yeah, anyway, learning target. I can find the probability of compound events. So we already learned about intern of probability. Now we're going to do compound events and what that fancy word compound means and how we apply that to probability. Remember to pause the video. Hopefully I'm a lot more streamlined. So your pauses will be more worthwhile and yeah so just listen to commentary commentary as i go maybe i'll just hold it and talk that way you don't have to pause as much you can just listen and yeah we'll see how that goes okay so table of contents we are on compound probability which is on page 12. all right and i don't really have a good piece of blank paper so we'll do this Okay, there's our title and our learning target. I can find the probability of compound events. And then here is our definition. I'll pause right here. So compound probability is probability that consists of two or more events. That's what the compound means, that's our keyword. So we're going to compound onto something. We're going to multiply one probability by another probability or for however many events that we need to, we're gonna do a lot of multiplication. We're gonna do three examples of ways that we can do this. So one example will be with a table, one will be with a tree diagram, and the third will be the quick method, i.e. just multiplication. So for example one, we're gonna find the total outcomes of rolling a die and flipping a coin, and we're gonna use making a table to help us with that. All right, so on the top of your table, I want you to put the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six to represent our die. And then on the side, put tails and heads, T and H. Typically, you're going to see just T and H to represent tails and heads. And then as you work through your table, go through and list them out. So if I roll a one, but I flip a tails, my outcome is called one T. I got a one and I have a tails. And again, if I flip a heads, I have one and a heads. So fill out the rest of the table. So this should be your table now. All right. And I'll move this up a little bit. So using this table, I want to find I need two things to hide. Okay. Ugh. There we go. I want to find the probability of rolling it even and a heads. So I need to figure out, one way to figure it out with the table is to figure out the total number of events happening. So total events of outcomes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 options happening. How many of those involve rolling an even and flipping a heads. That would be one, two, three. So my fraction is going to be three twelfths, all right? And now I can simplify that. I'll get one fourth. When I divide that in my calculator, I'll end up with 25 hundredths and then 25%. So 25% is the chance of rolling an even and flipping a heads. Now there's a compound way to do this as well using multiplication. So instead of figuring out even and heads at the same time using my table, I could figure out the probability of even by itself and then multiply that by the chance of rolling, uh, flipping a heads by itself. So even numbers, there are three even numbers out of six total in a die. And there is one head out of two head or tails, so two sides of a coin. So that's what I'm gonna multiply. When I multiply this, I'm going to do three times one, which is three, six times two, which is 12. And then that three twelfths brings me back to where I was, simplified, get the decimal, get the percent, and you're good to go. All right, pause here, look over your notes. Did they make sense? Give yourself a thumbs up or thumbs down. What questions do you have? Email me really quick, or make sure you ask them when you come back after notes. All right. Next one we're going to do is a tree diagram. There we go. A tree diagram. I'm going to push this up a little bit. So example two, tree diagram. 
So you have, we're gonna make pizza. So you have an option of a thin crust, which then you'll have toppings that are Hawaiian, Mexican, pepperoni, or veggie. And then it's your style. Stuffed crust has the same four options, Hawaiian, Mexican, pepperoni, and veggie. So then out of the total, we have eight total options. So if I want to find the probability of thin and veggie, ignore this, thin and veggie, how many of these eight options are thin and veggie? There's only one out of eight. So doing that, you get one eighth is 13, 0.13, so 13 hundredths, and then 13%. If I did the compound method, I would be finding the chance of it being thin by itself, which is four eighths, because four out of the eight are thin crust. Two out of eight will be veggie. Multiplying those together, you get eight sixty-fourths. I can divide the eight by eight and the sixty-four by eight numerator and denominator. That simplifies me back up to my one eighth, and I still end up with the thirteen percent. So notice that in orange, these are the compound, the quick method, the multiplication method that we can use. But you don't have to multiply because you could use a table and you can use a tree diagram. Okay, so last one. I'm going to just have you write the whole thing. So pause here, write it all, and then listen to me. So probability that you roll a number greater than four. There's only two of those. There's a five and there's a six. Okay, so two numbers out of six are greater than four. Tails, there's only one out of the two. And that gives me two out of 12. I can then simplify that and get one sixth. Using my calculator, I end up with 17 hundredths and 17%. And now this last one, it'll make more sense when you actually see the menu. So we're doing the probability that you order salad, chicken, and cake, all three of those. On this menu, you don't have to write this down. Okay, there are appetizers that come before your meal, entree, which is your meal, and then dessert, which you eat after your main course. So for appetizers, this restaurant has nachos, soup, spinach dip, salad, and fruit. Salad is one of the options. How many options total are there? One, two, three, four, five. So I have one fifth. That's where that one fifth is coming from. I have one salad out of five appetizers. We'll see the same thing here. I have one chicken out of four entree options, and I have one cake out of three dessert options. So in this case, I have three events that I want to happen. I'm gonna multiply all of their numbers together. One times one times one, one. Five times four is 20, times another three will get me 60, and then when you divide this, you'll get with two hundredths or 2%. So. Hopefully that wasn't too fast. If it was, please tell me. I love feedback because <laughs> this went way super quick. All right, so making sure you focus. Did you have enough time to process this information? We'll do more in class, but make sure you're asking questions and looking at your grades, making sure everything is completed and you're following instructions that you're hearing in class. All right, have a great day. Bye.